When my little brother was born, Grandma bought me one of those dumb Tamagotchis. She said, prepare yourself. You'll have to take care of him one day. In the grand scheme, you only have each other. Craig, three years later, you're ass naked on an old piano, sitting next to her skin, starting to sag like all grandmas do. It was an off-tune Christmas carol, yet I've never seen her smile so hard. I was 20 years old when she passed away. Her funeral was the first time I saw you cry. You held me tight like tissue, and in that moment, I understood her words. We only have each other. <laughs> well, shit, this ain't too poetic, but if we only have each other, we're doing just fine. I watch you evolve like the Pokemon we still play with, but don't tell anyone because we're too cool for that. You sit at your laptop every night for hours, studying, only wanting to live up to all the hype. Our cousin Natalie was afraid you'd always be living in my shadow. Two years later, you've proven you are a bright light, blowing me away at the steady pace of social anxiety. I see myself in you the same way songbirds stick together to survive and sing. You date a girl from Orlando, Florida, like I once did. You have an obnoxiously loud laugh, like I still do. You let your passions consume you whole at the expense of everything, and I've watched too many fleeting moments fly off the handle to sit silently beside you. Craig, I don't have a lot to offer you that you don't already know. You are perhaps the world's most badass 16-year-old, but you are just that, 16 years old. You are passion personified. We are addictive personalities. I've spent the last eight years of my life picking up projects, pretending people are expendable. Stop that. Take a moment to turn in a paper late. Get drunk with some close friends. Maybe wait until you're 18 or don't. Never drink, don't do drugs. I don't care, just be happy and take life by the balls. Don't let life take you. I've been there before. It isn't fun. Craig, you performed at your first open mic last night. I asked if you killed that shit to which you responded, how could I have not? You're my big brother. This is for you, Craig. This poem is for anyone who watched the most important person walk out of their life because they were too afraid of just enjoying it. Always work hard. Always push yourself. But take time to acknowledge your life will end someday. All we have is each other. And that is more than enough. Hey, thanks for watching this week's segment of Dick Does Poetry. You can subscribe below and follow him on Twitter. Also, thanks to Gabriella for recording this week's segment. Please come back and check us out next week. Peace, love, and poetry.